Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the Learnaholic Pen. It is really a big pleasure to have Mr. Karim from University of Technology and Applied Sciences in Shinas to host and uh, uh, for, for the topic of extracurricular activity. Mr. Karim, I would like you to introduce yourself briefly to the audience. Actually, these are your audience. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Karim Hanfiwi. I'm a lecturer at, at uh, Utah Shinas. I've been a lecturer at this university for 15 years now. I've been in Oman for 15 years. And uh, the reason I, I really want to talk about this topic is because over the last, uh, let's say, eight years, I've been more involved with the community. I've been more involved with uh, students' activities. And I realized how important and how uh, life-changing sometimes, you know, uh, such experiences can be for students. Thank you so much. Karim, thank you so much, first of all, accepting my invitation. And I know that you are really busy with recording and doing a lot of such, uh, like, stuff. And, but I appreciate you accepted well, to be here. You. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, thank I, I appreciate the fact that you trust me enough to have me No, here. that's okay. Thank you so much. Karim, this, this extracurricular activity, that's really a trendy topic. I believe. I mean, wherever I go in uh, in Oman or in somewhere else in other countries, they are really caring about extracurricular activities. They they would like to engage more the students in these activities. What is the logic behind entertaining the students in such types of activities? All right. First of all, I, I have an issue with two of the. Uh statements uh, the terms you used yes you said trendy and you said entertaining mm -hmm. uh anything that gets trendy gets trendy for a reason there are things that get trendy just you know for the sake of entertainment for the sake of having a large audience but actually what i would say is that research supports the fact that uh, extracurricular curricular activities are very important in the college experience and uh, you know in studies as a whole uh, i was doing some research for your uh, for uh, podcast and I stumbled upon this uh, research that was conducted in 92 in, uh, in the US at the level of uh, community college and it found that students who are involved in extracurricular activities at community college uh, are less likely to drop out they're less likely to be absent mm -hmm. uh, and you know uh, community college in the US you know how the experience is it's people who have left studies for a long time and uh, who want to make it back, who want to improve their social status, who want to study some more, and they go back. But if they go back and they find a dry environment, many of them end up dropping out because, you know, they also, they're adults, they have commitments. Uh, so they found that even if it's, they spend more money and more resources on these extracurricular activities, uh, they still manage to keep more students. And at the end of the day, that's what matters to them, you know, uh, getting more graduates and getting people to actually benefit from the experience. There is no point in offering uh, community colleges or community classes when nobody is taking advantage of them. So it's not really trendy. It, uh, it came from a necessity, mm -hmm. that's number one. Number two, uh, it's, you know, people think of extracurricular activities as entertaining. They, they really are not. I mean, yeah, they, there's a certain level of entertainment, but that's not the main purpose. The main purpose is uh, getting students to have more experiences, to broaden, if you want, their, uh, their scope, you know, to do more than just study. Uh, let's face it, different people learn differently. So by offering them, uh, you know, other experiences at the college, they end up learning. I'm sorry I'm taking too much time, uh, you know, answering your question, but that's just because I had an issue with the... No, 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 this is your right actually to defend yeah. because you are like, I think I, you are engaged in these activities more than me because I, I don't, I mean, uh, I, I prefer not to engage myself in extracurricular activities like that. Can you, I, you know, when I was working in Sohar, we used to have the English English club day. We, we call it English yeah. club day. In, in that day, many teachers try to arrange a lot of fun activities, academic and non-academic, but 
yeah perhaps because students need to communicate in english it was we can consider that all of them were like academic yeah and a little bit non-academic now the question that came to my mind also and i wanted to ask you and i'm thinking about it from last night is that these extracurricular activities are the academic side do they consider the academic side of like activities for the students or non-academic as an example i was thinking once i wanted to do a project actually for my phd but uh, uh, but okay it it finished and i mean i mean i never continue to think about it okay. is that uh having such type of english club days or extracurricular activities how do they affect the pragmatic level of the students now my question is that when you are designing a curriculum, uh, an extracurricular activity, do you consider to uh, the academic side of the students? I mean, do, they, do you want them to progress in English language learning and teaching? Because perhaps we are teaching English, so we, we consider the English learning side of the story. Or you are looking for the communicative skills of the students, social status of the students in the society. Which one do you want to improve more or you are considering both of them equally? You see, Ben, to, uh, to answer your question, uh, I'm going to have to talk about our experience here. Mm -hmm. First of all, that's why we have an academic uh, a student support committee and it's uh, headed by, by a teacher, by a lecturer. I used to be the head, then Ms. Nahla became the head and now Ms. Safiya is the head. The reason of having a teacher there, and it's very important, is to keep track of what's important, which is, as you're saying, the academic uh, aspects of mm -hmm. the whole experience. Now, yes. if, if it was left completely to students, uh, it would still be beneficial, but it would probably stray a little bit. Now, having it helmed, uh, supervised, uh, closely monitored by a teacher makes, uh, makes it actually a more interesting for both parties who are you know us lecturers and students uh, i want to circle back to one thing ben uh, most of us lecturers and teachers look at everything in the uh, college life from our perspective the perspective yes. of teachers and lecturers yes and this uh, became clear to me when i started working with the students and i started looking at things from their perspective also uh, let's not forget we are dealing with the second language learners, mm. foreign language learners, really. And uh, there are other aspects of the learning experience that matter to them. And that sometimes, sometimes we may uh, not really be aware of. Uh, you were saying social status. Uh, there is no harm in that, in my opinion. Yes. In letting students develop their social status. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say their social status. I would just say their self-esteem. You know, sometimes you have students in class who... who have answers who can talk English, who can speak English, but they're a bit shy, they're not very confident. I agree. So when you boost their self-esteem outside of, uh, of uh, the classroom, you, you have transformed students in the classroom. Uh, another study that I was looking at actually suggests that there are five, uh, let's say five uh, benefits to the extracurricular activities. One of them is self-esteem, as I was saying, uh, but the other one is uh, boosting the academic performance of students. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, later, if time allows, I can actually mention a couple of real-life examples. Sure, yeah, yeah. That I have met here, yeah. that I know here, mm -hmm. and who, thanks to extracurricular activities, have now actually branched into careers that wow. have nothing to do with what they studied. Wow. So yeah, I, I agree with you. I, uh, I do understand your question and your concern that as lecturers we have to keep track of what's important which is, you know, uh, teaching them something. Uh, but I don't think that these two aspects are, uh, are uh, uh, exclusive. They can be incorporated. Having them improve their self-esteem will only improve their performance in class. Having them improve their self-confidence will only improve their performance in class. That's my opinion. Yes, yeah, so both of them I can say at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Can, yeah, all right, good. Thank you so much. That was really a good answer. Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, many, many, many teachers, let's say, or many researchers, let's say, 
not in are not interested that much to engage themselves in extracurricular activities like like me myself as an example i don't mind to participate in uh, in such types of activities i remember you did we you remember together, we had some we drawing yes doing true drawing. yeah but if you want to consider me as a person who designed for it and plan for it not that much interesting uh, interested in, in such type you of know, activities. Ben, I used to be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I told yeah. you, I only got into this for over the last eight years. Okay. Maybe, maybe a little less than eight years. I used to be exactly like you. I used to think, well, you know what? Who has time? And, yes. And who has patience? You know? Yes. Yeah. But uh, something happened when I started working with students and observing them. And uh, I remember the first thing that we did together was a play. And Mr. Nasser Hindasi, who was uh, our HOC back then, uh, asked me, well, requested me to uh, put together a play for the students and we worked on it together and I could see how the kids were reacting to the whole experience, how they were very involved. You know, I, I observed and I noticed that, well, this really helps. These kids are, are putting a lot of efforts. They are really trying their best and little by little by working closely with them, by becoming uh, student support uh, committee coordinator and working closely with students I started realizing that yeah you know probably there's some there's some merit to uh, to I wouldn't say stepping down I would just say uh, repositioning a little bit you know the way I think about uh, activities in college uh, again Ben college university is an experience uh, the academic aspect of it is one side of the experience. Yes. It's, it's yes. a major side, I agree with you. It's the most important side, I agree with you. It's probably 80-90% of the experience, I do agree with you, but that's how we look at it. On the, on, on the side of the students, it is important, it does matter, uh, but it's part of the experience. Uh, there are other aspects of the experience that we are not private, that we're not privy to, you and me, but that students experience that they live, it's, it's for them, it's, it's their everyday life. They come here, they are at college the whole day, uh, studies take up like half of the time, uh, they go to the library, they go to the cafeteria, there's other things happening at the same time. If we can at least utilize the, 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 the time outside of classroom uh, and put at least a few drops of teaching here and there, well, what does it hurt? That's fantastic. Yes, no, I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, let's say when you are designing um, an activity for the students, what is in your mind? What What is the criteria? I mean, or let's say what are the criteria? Sorry. Uh, what What do you What do you think about designing this activity? If I, I I remember that you did a lot of things. So. I, uh, since the, the time I joined the college, we participated in a lot of those extracurricular activities and you were one of those who run the, actually, the, uh, the thing, the, the activity. So, and they are really fun. Most of the time they are really fun. Students are enjoying, teachers are enjoying. What, what do you do? What, how do you plan for it? Have, what comes to your mind that, hey, let me design it in this way so it will engage the students more, it will make the role of the students more active rather than being passive? Okay, uh, first of all, we don't always design everything mm -hmm. at the lecturers. Sometimes mm -hmm. students de design most of it okay. and then they submit to us. What we all do right. is we take a look and we see which activities are useful, which activities are feasible, and which activities have any sort of merit or benefit, you know? Uh, and at the end of the day, when, when we see that there's not much, uh, you know, interest in activities or, you know, whatever, we, we try to add something. We try to uh, implement some of the activities that we think would be uh, veered more towards, uh, towards an academic learning, towards, you know, uh, some English learning. Uh, Let's take the English club, for example. Yes. Well, we call it the English club because, you know, it's mainly, mainly considered English. So when students from the English club bring us a schedule of an activity that they want to, to, uh, to hold or to, to have, what we do is we look at it and we say, okay, this one is good because you know, it's English, but this one has absolutely nothing to do with English. You're an English club. And uh, we negotiate, and at the end of the day, we come to, we come to an agreement. 
uh, some of the activities that we try to implement usually have have to have more focus on self confidence and uh, you know boosting morale yes. and team building yes. among students than than actual teaching and learning. You know, you know what I mean? I got you, yes. Yeah. All right, okay. Thank you. So, let's say... Okay, would you like to share some of those um, authentic examples that you mentioned absolutely, earlier? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm going to mention... Uh, I don't know if I'm uh, actually allowed to mention names, uh, but one of the names I'm definitely going to mention is Qasai Mansour. Qasai Mansour Zajali. This is one guy, one boy, he was my student actually twice. Uh, the first time he was my student, uh, I think an advanced level, yeah. that was like a long time ago, probably 2008 or something. And, uh, and then the second time he was my student in public speaking. And this kid was head of the media group here in our college. Uh, at the beginning he was a member in the media club, uh, media, media club, media group, and then he became the head of the media club. And uh, he was studying engineering. The boy has a degree in engineering. Today, he's a star radio presenter mm -hmm. for Hala FM. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows him. If you, if you visit his uh, Instagram yeah. account, he's got uh, hundreds of thousands of, uh, of followers. He's very famous on, uh, on uh, Hala FM, and he is a radio presenter. Wow. Look at this. The guy uh, got himself into a career path mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with his degree. Exactly. Based on the extracurricular activities he was doing here. You're right. When he was here, anytime we would receive someone, he would be there interviewing them. He would be holding the mic. He would be interviewing the people. He would be talking to them. Some, sometimes we would even, you know, set up a, a, a podium where they would sit down and, you know, have a proper interview. And the kid uh, went on to have a career. Uh, the other one is a, a girl who's also now in one of the, uh, the radio stations. Uh, her name is Samira Fthaisi, I think I can mention her name. And she's also now very popular. She, uh, well, she was not in the media club, but she was very interested in, you know, uh, in being a presenter. Like, look at you now. <laughs> I, I really, that's, that's also my, I mean, my second job, I mean, dream job was to be a radio reporter, presenter. radio presenter. Look at, yes, look yes, at you, of ben. course. Look at you. You I'm invested, pursuing, actually, yes. You have invested <laughs> so much yeah. in proper equipment. Students sometimes, while studying engineering, IT, whatever, they have a dream. They have something that they really look forward to doing. They have some interests that are a little bit beside whatever they're studying. And when they find a club, when they find the type of extracurricular activity here in college, as we said, college is an experience. When they find something that corresponds to their dream, they throw them, themselves at it. And when they throw themselves at it, they become part of the college community. Mm -hmm. And once a student is part of the college community, trust me, even in class, their performance is better. This boy, Qasai uh, Masur, in class, he was the ideal student. And the, the weird thing, or the, the, the amazing thing, is that he was an excellent influence on the students in his class. So when you get, when, back then, when you get Qasai in your class, you have a wonderful class. Yes. Everybody is excellent, everybody is amazing, everybody... You see, that is, in a way, a benefit to us as teachers. Uh, students who are eminent in the college experience, who are taking part in extracurricular activities, are, are a wonder to have in class, you know? They, they uh, boost morale in class. They push the others forward. And, you know, isn't that one of the things that we try to get in our classrooms? Yes, that's really... You changed my mind about now. <laughs> Seriously. That, I'm, that was I'm, not I'm what really I, serious. That, you motivated me to engage myself more of this activity. That's not what I set out to do. That's serious. not what I set out to do, but uh, I'm glad it's... Uh, Perhaps this is how extracurricular activity works. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it motivates the teacher as well as the students. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. As the last, uh, let's say, it's not a question, I think it's just a request. Are we at the end of this? It's, we are like almost 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you see that? Time, time flies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, as... Uh, a lot to share. Yeah. Uh, if you would like, you can share it if, if you have more uh, to it's say. It's okay, I mean, uh, look, one thing I will say before you ask me your last question. Uh, 
as I said, I used to be skeptical, just like you right now. And uh, that skepticism came from the fact that probably, from my experience as a student, when I was at university, things were not the same as today, you know? We didn't have a lot of uh, means, we didn't have a lot of uh, resources. You're right, you're It was right. a different experience, but yeah. now, uh, we are in 2022. Students are branching out, not only students, people in general are branching out into some, some paths and some careers and some, uh, you know, areas that we didn't even have, we didn't even imagine were possible back when we were kids, when we were younger. So, uh, what happens is, you keep in touch with some of those students, you see them improve, you see, see them develop, develop. Today I'm in touch with quite a few students who were in the English club in 2012 and mm. 2014, you know, mm. back when I was uh, head of the committee. I'm still in touch with some of them, some of them are my best friends. And mashallah, you see how they have developed into some amazing individuals. Yep. I'm not saying all the merit goes to extracurricular activities. Yes, that yeah, be, yeah. That would be you know, an overstatement. Yeah. But I like to imagine, I like to think that partly, you know, it, it contributed to that. Yeah, right. My last uh, point is not a question. Just I want to know if do you like to give some teachers advice uh, to be more like active in the area of extracurricular activities or not? Oh, well, absolutely. Look, what I would like to say is uh, I would like our teachers to get a little bit closer to the students. Yes. Uh, you know, I think me being an Arab speaker helps me a lot, obviously. Uh, but even when you are not an Arab speaker, when you get closer to the students, when you work with them outside of the classroom, you work with them on organizing a play or on organizing an event, a cultural day, whatever, and you, again, I'm not going to say step down to their level, but you mix with them, you empower them, and you observe them. When you do that, your mind really changes, your perspective changes, and uh, even in class, I noticed over the last few years, even in class, I'm becoming a lot more patient because you know I know where most of these students are coming from. Yes. I know what deep down what they are aspiring to. I have met most of them. I know most of them outside of the classroom. So teachers in general would benefit from getting to know the students a lot cl closer than they do. Okay, knowing them in classroom, knowing their performance is one thing. But knowing them as individuals, knowing them as people, uh, knowing them outside of the classroom uh, will benefit to us a lot. So yeah, I do encourage all teachers to take part, at least, you know, once in a while, in extracurricular activities. Yes, that's a good advice. Thank you so much. Karim, I appreciate. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you so much, really, accepting my invitation again. It was really a big honor to have you here. My Plus, pleasure. you really changed my mind regarding the extracurricular activities, because as well, I said, I didn't, I mean, I have never ever think of participating in these activities and engage myself with the students, yeah. but it seems that we can be sometimes really a big help for the students plus for ourselves Absolutely. to motivate Absolutely. the students, to motivate ourselves also. Thank you so much. I Thank appreciate you your Thank time. You I hope to see you more and then we, we talk about different topics or maybe we develop this topic of Absolutely. extracurricular activities to, to the next level, more advanced. Absolutely. Thank you My so pleasure. much. Thank you Thank so you much. Better.